Galvanometers are used to detect the current in the circuit. When a current is detected by a galvanometer, the galvanometer deflection can also tell you the direction of the current. Before we use a galvanometer to determine the direction of the current in the circuit, we have to test the galvanometer to relate the deflection of the pointer, positive or negative, to the right or to the left, to the direction of current in the circuit. So here we have this galvanometer, the one that is commonly found in schools. It is now connected to a dry cell. So I'm using this Everady dry cell where this nine or the picture of the cat is at the positive terminal. So when you see this cat here, that is the positive end of this dry cell. So let's see what happens when the circuit is switched on. Notice the deflection of the galvanometer. So you can see here the conventional current flows from the positive terminal of the cell into the positive or red terminal of the galvanometer to the negative terminal of the dry cell. And when that happens, the deflection is positive or to the right. The galvanometer shows a positive reading. Notice that we have turned the cell around. The number 9 is now on the left. That means now the positive terminal of this cell is connected to the negative terminal of the galvanometer. Let's see what happens when the current is switched on. Now you have a deflection of the pointer to the left or a negative reading. The current in the circuit flows from the positive terminal of the cell into the negative terminal of the galvanometer and to the negative terminal of the cell. So notice here that when current enters into the galvanometer at the negative terminal, for this galvanometer, the deflection is to the left or negative. What about this galvanometer with the positive terminal on the left and the negative terminal on the right? Now, the positive terminal of the dry cell is connected to the negative terminal of this galvanometer. Let's see the direction of deflection of the pointer when the current is switched on. So for this galvanometer, when current flows from the positive of the dry cell, when current enters the galvanometer at the negative terminal, the deflection is positive. Okay, now we have turned around this dry cell. The positive terminal here at the number 9 is now connected to the positive of this galvanometer. And let's see what happens. The deflection is negative. So the way this galvanometer deflects when a current flows through it is different from what we had for this galvanometer. For this galvanometer, when current enters the galvanometer at the positive terminal, the deflection is to the right. Whereas for this galvanometer, when current enters at the positive terminal, the deflection is to the left or negative. That is why it's very important to calibrate or to test the galvanometer to relate the direction of deflection of the pointer to the direction of current in the circuit before you use a galvanometer 
to determine the direction of current in the circuit. Now let us take a look at the long scale galvanometer. So here we have the positive terminal of the dry cell. Look at the number 9. The positive terminal of the dry cell connected to the positive terminal of the galvanometer and the negative terminal of the galvanometer to the negative terminal of the dry cell. So let's see what happens when we switch on the current. We get a positive deflection. The light on the long scale galvanometer gets deflected to the right. And the current in the circuit flows from the positive of the cell, enters the galvanometer at the positive terminal and to the negative of the cell. Now we have turned the dry cell around. The negative terminal of the dry cell is now connected to the positive terminal of this galvanometer. When the current is switched on, we get a negative reading or a re deflection to the left. The direction of the current is from the positive of the cell into the negative of the galvanometer and to the post, the negative of the cell. This is a summary of the tests that we have carried out on the galvanometers. For the first galvanometer, which we will refer to as galvanometer A, when current enters the galvanometer at the positive terminal, which we sometimes refer to as current flowing through the galvanometer to the left, the pointer deflects to the right, giving a positive reading. When current enters that galvanometer at the negative terminal, which is referred to as current flowing to the right through the galvanometer, the pointer deflects to the left, giving a negative reading. For galvanometer B, when current enters the galvanometer at the negative terminal, the pointer deflects to the right and there is a positive reading. For this galvanometer, if current enters the galvanometer at the positive terminal, the pointer deflects to the left, there is now a negative reading. Notice that for both galvanometer A and galvanometer B, the direction of current through the galvanometer and the direction of deflection of the pointer are opposite. For the long scale galvanometer, when current enters the galvanometer at the positive terminal, the pointer, which is the light on the screen, deflects to the right. If current enters the galvanometer at the negative terminal, the pointer deflects to the left. You can see that it is important for us to test each galvanometer to relate the direction of deflection of the pointer to the direction of current in the circuit. If we would like to use that galvanometer to determine the direction of current in a circuit.